city on edge after protesters erupted a second night. We're not going to tolerate the behavior. Charlotte's police chief saying they are reviewing the footage. I do not believe we have all the criminal suspects to charge with uh, various crimes at this point, and we'll not rest until we bring all people to justice. And the city is preparing for what could be another night of protests. The National Guard arrived this morning to provide support to the city's overtaxed police force. Primarily their responsibility is to help protect the buildings and other structures in and around the Charlotte area so the police department here can do their job. Are we truly standing with the Scott family? Wednesday night began with a peaceful protest in front of police headquarters. Later that night, community emotions escalated to violence around 8 p.m. and continued through the night, <coughs> prompting the governor to declare a state of emergency. I came out here to support, and they arrested me. In all, 44 people were arrested. Businesses looted, cars smashed, tear gas deployed by police hitting Arbor Sanchez. Oh, okay. They clearly want us out of here. And our Ed Lavendera attacked by a protester during a live report. Someone taking out their frustrations on, on me. The protester later apologized. Today, police and residents gathered to start to clean up their city. Tons of people were out here last night doing what they do. And now people are out here today doing what we do. I just want to do what I can for anybody. You know, it's not just one side. While the city has yet to announce if there will be a curfew tonight, they say they are monitoring the situation. I want to reiterate the city is open for business today. Our transit system is running. Our businesses are open. Our center city is here to welcome you.